Prior to his State of the Union address, Joe Biden's approval rating stood at only 37 percent. In January, another poll found that only 33 percent of voters approved of the president's performance. So who should the Democrats choose as their presidential nominee in 2024? Hillary Clinton has expressed interest in running again, but she lost the nomination to Barack Obama in 2008 and the 2016 election to Donald Trump. So I have an idea. The Democrats should nominate the president of Ukraine, Vladimir Zelensky. He's the bold and courageous grandson of a Holocaust survivor. Isn't it time the party choose a young, charismatic, JFK-like leader? Like President Kennedy, Zelensky knows how to respond to the Russians. He's determined and tough on national security. And he's inspiring Ukrainians and the world. When the U.S. offered to help him evacuate, he said, I need ammunition, not a ride. The former comedian turned politician is a media master, often tweeting out selfies to rally his countrymen and galvanize the world around Ukraine. Ukrainians love him. Some say he's like the biblical hero, David. He's much more braver than Goliath. Uh, he is uh, much stronger. He is uh, much more confident. I'm so happy to be Ukrainian. I'm so honored to be uh, Ukrainian. I'm so happy that I have this president. Yes, Zelensky is a leader that makes his people proud of their president and country. Imagine that response here in the USA. Zelensky's approval rating is now nearly 60 percent higher than Joe Biden's. That's because he's demonstrated a determination to fight and preserve the Ukrainian nation unto death. The Ukrainian president is also a family man who delighted children is the Ukrainian voice of Paddington Bear. So, Democrats, who do you have like Zelensky to lead your party? He'd be the perfect candidate, one definitely worth supporting. I can see it now. Paddington Bear for president. He's against Russia. Oh, you say Zelensky isn't eligible because he's not a natural-born citizen? Hmm. Some people say that hasn't stopped us before. Seriously, though, folks, it's the type of leadership our country needs in this perilous and challenging time. So let's keep praying that God gives us an American Zelensky. Well, that's it today from the Global Lane. Be sure to follow us on the CBN News and NRB channels, social media, and our broadcast affiliates. And until next time, be blessed.